Hello, my friends. Today I have the great privilege to be with my friend Scott and Monahan Tooling Group. We're going to learn a lot about tools today, especially because they might be considered as one of the great leaders in drilling. But first, I believe we're going to start with a burnishing tool. Scott, can you tell us a little bit more about that tool that's in your hand? Absolutely, Tony. Thank you. So this is our uh, OD style carbide roll, single roll burnishing tool. Um, these are, this is a stock standard tool made right here in Dayton by Elliott Tool Technology, our, our partner, our burnishing manufacturing partner. And uh, really what it does is it provides excellent mirror, mirror-like super finishes on turned parts, just like you're seeing in this video. We can do ODs into fillet radii, up tapers, all kinds of uh, different profiles with some different different roll configurations that we offer, but uh, essentially this is our this is our OD carbide roll burnishing tool. Well, Scott, I want to play a little bit of layman's terms with you, if that's sure. all right. Can Certainly. you please describe what exactly is burnishing for those of us who aren't used to it? Sure. So burnishing is a uh, it's a chipless machining method, so a little, little different. We're not producing a chip. But burnishing is a cold working, shipless machining method that compresses the peaks and valleys of a machine finish, giving you a, a super, super, you know, smooth RA finish. So this is how a lot of people are getting that mirror finish that's looked for in, in a lot of the different industries that require, you know, Absolutely. tight micron tolerances. Absolutely. Um, burnishing is. but. What we still find today is people are doing a lot of secondary operations to their parts. So they're taking it off the lathe and putting it on a, on a, a grinder or some sort of polishing machine. Sometimes they're, they're trying to polish right in the lathe by hand. We can do that and without any, you know, any manipulation, keep it right in that, that primary machine tool and get it done right, you know, right in one one clamping. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big advocate of, you know, reducing the amount of steps that ha we have to go through in order to get a finished product. Yep. So um, are we. So that secondary, when you talk about someone taking it to a polishing machine or a grinding machine or doing whatever it takes, even tumblers I used to work with in the jewelry industry, mm -hmm. um, we can just utilize something like this, keep it on the same machine instead of the extra setup, the extra time, even just the walking distance, it's just a push of a button, we're ready to go. It's and, a, and you're getting that finish that you've spent, you know, a lot more time on by moving it around to the other machines. True. It's a huge time savings and a huge cost savings. How easy is this to adapt to your lathe? Um, pretty simple. I mean, we've got, got our, uh, our, our square shank tools, our right hand or left hand tools. We also have a neutral tool if your machine does have Y-axis, uh, you know, capabilities. We've got different sizes, different uh, roll radii in stock depending on the part configuration and the material and things like that but but we can help you know select the the right one for the job help you with your programming you know do what do whatever we have to do to, to get your get you up and running All right, well you've now led me to two other questions that I'm curious about how quick and easy is it to switch out this roll right here and is there a special technique that comes with programming when you're doing burnishing or is it pretty standard and universal as far well well we'll start with the the uh, changing out the roll. It's it's pretty simple. We we've got we've got an axle here that that you know that's a precision machine ground hardened axle that the roll is rotating on. It, it it's really just a matter of taking some some standard shop you know wrenches and, and tools and, and loosening that and putting a new one on and, and and you're ready to go. So if I'm prepared, I can do it in less than a minute, most likely. Um, a little bit longer. Yeah, a minute, minute, pretty, two pretty minutes. quick. Minute yeah. or two minutes. Yeah. So standard it's shop quick. tools, twist it off, pop the new one on. It's aligned. It's ready to go. You said, you know, a hardened steel that's in there and ground to perfection. Absolutely. Oh, you got that nailed. Well, so tell me a little bit about the programming. Now, I'm very familiar with with standard <laughs> lathe programming, sure. as I briefly touched on just a second ago in the jewelry industry. I had the great privilege to run about 30 of them. Nice. Um, but they all had 1.44 floppy disks. So not real new. Uh, with that being said, we're now looking at something that would have changed the game where I was. Um, so how is, how's the programming work in this type of uh, machining? Extremely similar. I mean, it, it's basically going to just take the same path as, as the turning tool, with the only exception being we're going to put a little bit of pressure, a little bit of spring load on this tool. There's a, 
there's a stack of Belleville Springs in there, and that's how we, where we develop our, our pressure to compress that surface and give you that, that burnish, beautiful surface. So it, it's really just the, the, the addition of feeding it in the x-axis a little bit more to, to compress that, that roll, which compresses the springs, gives you your, your burnishing effect and your, 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 uh, your pressure that's required. And Scott, so in this video we've been watching, and we've talked a lot about this already, I see a lot of OD burnishing, but are we also able to do ID burnishing? Absolutely. So we've got kind of a, like, I'll call it a brother product to the tool that we were just looking at. And this is our boring bar style. So it uses, uses the same kind of family of uh, carbide rollers, so it's very, very interchangeable, like I mentioned, all in stock. And uh, also spring-loaded, um, but in the form of a boring bar. And we can make these bars, this is, this is kind of the, the standard uh, short reach one we've had. We've made these up to maybe three and four times this long. So, so we do have that, wow. that, that capability as well. So now again, I have two questions okay. and, I, and you keep leading me. To, I just, I'm, I'm very curious. Yeah. So can this do OD and ID? Yeah. Just, just like any kind of boring bar, you, you do have the ability to turn an OD with a boring bar. Now it might not be as rigid as a, as that tool we were just looking at with it, with its square shank, but it, but it can do it. So this. This tool does have the ability to do IDs and ODs. Well, yes. that was a great segue as yes. well because my next question was going to be about the rigidity when you talked about the extra sure. length that sure. can be added on yeah. to the one that's in your hand. Yeah. How's the rigidity as you start expanding I mean, on length? I mean, the, the, the rigidity is, um, is sufficient for burnishing. Now, okay. if you were maybe trying to fine bore, and we don't, you know, we're not talking boring, we're talking burnishing, which is the, the next operation after the boring. Uh, the, with burnishing being a spring-loaded process where we are really, our goal is to really produce the, you know, a, a really fine surface finish, the, the rigidity, I will say, is more than adequate. Okay. Well, if we're looking at the, the point three RA like we spoke about earlier, and, then... And honestly, point three is, um, is okay. We do it all the time, but we could get, get down, you know, tw twice as good or even three times better than that. So, I love hearing that. Oh, yeah. It's, it's impressive, you yeah. know. I, every day I get to learn something new, and, mm -hmm. and uh, while it's, obviously burnishing is a popular way to do things, it could be more popular if people understood it better, I believe. Uh, we're looking at this video. It looked like a .3 RA, which is pretty daggone good. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's just a matter of getting the awareness out there that, you know, we don't need these secondary operations. I mean, look how simple this is right here, right now. Same machine, ready to go. Um, if somebody wanted to inquire more about this, uh, maybe the cost or, you know, contacting you, how would they find you? Uh, the easiest way would be to go to our website, www.monahantooling.com. Um, you can absolutely call us anytime. We've got live chat on the website, but, and we've got a, a really pretty user-friendly, I would say, RFQ form. So if you want to just put in the details of your application, it just comes right, right into us, right into our quoting system, and we're, we're ready to go. So. Quick service, user friendly, Very quick. easy to get in that, touch with. That's our, I mean, that's just in our DNA. Very quick service. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. Scott, I appreciate you teaching me about burnishing today. I've certainly learned a bit. I hope you guys have as well, and thank you so much for watching.